I've downloaded this icon here and I want to actually make the lines a little thicker. So if I select this image, you can see the fill color here. I can double click on this and that'll open up the fill and stroke panel. Now, normally you go over here to the stroke and you'll be able to actually change the stroke width here. And you can do that over here under the width under stroke style. But you see right here, we're actually not using a stroke on this image. So if I were to draw a stroke, you can see that it actually adds an outline to this. So I'm gonna remove that stroke. So this is actually a fill color, not a stroke color. And you can see that over here, and I can actually change the color here by adjusting this toggle. Now, one of the interesting things is you can't just change one of these values like you could the stroke value. So how can you scale this so the lines are a little thicker but keep it proportional? Well, I can come over here to my tool here to edit the paths. I can click on this. And if I click on this image, you can see all the individual nodes that are currently displayed here. I can get out of this for now. Now, I'm going to actually select the inner nodes here by holding down shift and clicking on each one of these nodes. Oops, let's come back here, let's do that again. Let's make sure we actually get the nodes. And now I have these four inner nodes selected. What I can do here is I can actually use my inward bracket uh, icons on my keyboard. So that's the comma and the period button. So if I hit comma, it will scale these in where it's like this. So that's a little triangle bracket that I'm using. And it scales it proportionally. Now I can come and I can do the same thing down here. So I can click this top one, and then I'll hold shift, and I'll click the inners here. And again, I'll hit the left bracket or the comma, and it scales it in like this. And then I can even come and I can do shift and hold and press down, and I'll snap it down like this, or I can just kind of adjust it manually like that. So I can do something like that, and maybe this has to come up a little bit so I can select just this one and move it up a little bit to get it exactly how I want it. And make sure I'm only selecting one of these at a time. So that's good. And I can select these two again. And okay. And maybe we just have to come back here again. Let's get these one more time. So I'm gonna select just those four inner ones and let's make it a little bit thicker just to make it all proportional. So now those lines look about the same thickness. So that's how you could change the thickness of a line even if it's not a stroke pattern and it's the fill. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and if you liked it, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more content like this in the future. We'll see you later.